say my name is Jonas. I'm a nurse. I'm an overseas Filipino worker and I just want to share a beautiful insight for you today. Dollars, rials, pounds, dinar, dirhams, these are exchange rates that ring a bell to any overseas Filipino workers. OFW remittances have affected how we approach our lives. Most overseas Filipino workers are sensitive about the exchange rate or currencies in the countries where they are working. When the exchange rate is uh, high, they are very happy. When the exchange rate is low, they weep. The overseas Filipino workers are sad when there is a change in the exchange rate of dollars, rials, dinars, dirhams. And uh, the bad thing about here is instead of focusing on their salary instead of focusing on their blessings they are focusing on what is lacking they are focusing on the on the problem personally this is my habit when I am not yet into personal development I always check the exchange rate and when it's very low I am very sad point is when I met my mentors who taught me powerful principles and there are two things how to approach the first this. thing is to work on the things that we can control and the second thing is to let God work on the things that we cannot control. That I don't have any control over the exchange rate. I don't have any control over the economy. I don't have any control on what other people think about me. I don't have any control on what, on what the government is doing. I don't have any control on the crimes that are happening in my country. I don't have any control over recession. But I have control over the things that I will think and the things that I will do in my life. And then today, I no longer worry whether the exchange rate is high or low because whether it's high or low, I still need to send remittances. And surprisingly, financial miracles happened in my life when I started to become grateful on the small things. One by one, many things came to me and I started to experience breakthrough. Here 